Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Selzer from In Your Face Games. We are uh, we're we're gonna make a game right now. So this is for virtual reality. This is for mobile VR. Um, we're gonna we're making this for Google Cardboard because virtual reality is awesome. So what are we gonna do? We want to use a Bluetooth controller and our cell phone, and we want to make some video games. So let's just start from scratch right now and uh, make all of this work. What do I need to do first thing? Okay, um, I already got a phone and a cardboard, so I'm going to type Google Cardboard SDK into Google. Google's going to show me that there is a Cardboard SDK for Unity, and there's a download right here, which is a direct link to a Unity package. That's going to download this cardboard.unity package. I can't do much with that unless I'm running Unity, so um, let's go ahead and start a brand new project here, and it's going to be called Test Cardboard Control. Alright, so create a new Unity project. Uh, Unity's free, go download it. I'm using Unity 5. So the first thing you're going to want to do here... Um, Unity gives you a camera, and the cameras that we're going to be using are, are a part of the Google Cardboard, so we can just destroy the camera. The light is fine, because if we take that away, it's going to be dusk. So if you want daytime, just leave the light there. Okay, so open up that Cardboard Unity package that you downloaded. That's going to, uh, that's going to open up here in Unity. And there's a couple things to look at before you import. So, if you're developing on Unity 4 or earlier, you're going to need these legacy folders. And you're going to need to use those prefabs. But if you're developing on Unity 5, uh, which we are, then deselect the legacy folders. We don't need those. Um, and for the moment, I'm going to deselect iOS because I'm only deploying to Android. And uh, the rest of this stuff's fine. I'm going import, to import these packages. So once that's imported, you're going to find the cardboard folder. And there's a prefab in here with a cardboard main. And so that's actually going to work. That's going to, our game's going to work at this point. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down the Alt button on the keyboard. That lets me simulate moving my head around with the mouse. And so if I hold down Control... I also have, a, I, I, I'm simulating tilting my head back and forth like this. Um, and there's a script here with some general settings. You can turn VR mode on or off. So if you're, if you're making a game for PC as well, or uh, maybe a standalone, or just and, uh, mobile Android, iOS, you can uh, develop, you can test your game both ways, but uh, we're making it for VR. And you can look through the rest of these settings. Lots of useful stuff right there. But... Right now, we have a project that, uh, if deployed, it would to Android, it would it would run. So, um, let's get control working with the controller. I'm gonna create a uh, just a plane here, so we have something to work with, and uh, just to change the colors a tad. Let me create a uh, material, and let me call it ground. And I'm also going to create another one here called box. So I'm just going to apply the ground material to the ground. There we go. And uh, now, of course, I'm, we can press play. Everything looks great. But let me create a box here. And put a color on it. Okay, here we go. So we got we got a ground, we got a box. 
Um, now we're going to go ahead and, and get this controller working. So let me add a component to the box. I'm going to call it uh, test con control. A C sharp script. And so basically, by default, Unity already supports uh, input with these controllers. So let me just, we're just going to create an example of, of how we can uh, put that to use. So the, uh, what I'm going to do here is in the update function, I'm going to say if input.get button down. So the button's been pushed down, and I'm going to ask it for fire one. Then let's move the position of the box, or move the rotation. So I'm going to say, uh, uh, let's see, transform.rotate. And that wants the Euler angles. So I'm going to, I'm just going to grab my current, uh, transform rotation dot Euler angles, and I'm going to add a new vector three. So basically what that's doing is it's saying, uh, get my current rotation and then add a little bit more onto that. And I'm just going to do a little tiny bit. So I'm going to say on the Y axis. So I'm going to say just add a little bit of rotation to the, to the Y axis, a 0 0.1. And if I go back into unity and press play, uh, we see the box is rotating. So, now, fire one, and the other, the horizontal and the vertical inputs are under project settings input. So if I look under here, there's a horizontal and a vertical, which is pulling from my left or my right buttons, or my upper or my down, or even the keyboard and the mouse, and there's also a horizontal and vertical that are mapped to the joystick. So that's already set up. And I picked this fire one value that was already set up that's mapped to, to the control or, or your mouse button. So it's so that I know that's already gonna work when I deploy it to, uh, to my phone with this controller. So now I'm gonna just get some, uh, get some movement. I'm gonna say if input dot, but it might be a little bit smart just to get a H for the horizontal. So we're going to say input.get axis. And we're going to ask for the horizontal axis. And the same thing goes for the vertical. Let's just ask for that vertical value. And we're going to say if. Um, well, let's just do a transform dot position. So the position of the cube and we're going to do a plus equals. So, so get the position and add on to that a new, uh, vector three. So just like the rotation, we're, we're getting the current position. We're adding a little bit more onto that. Um, and we just want to, in the X value, let's add, let's put the horizontal at, at input and multiply that by, and, and let's scratch the multiplication for now, but, um, and for the, for the V, for the Y axis, we're going to send in the vertical input and we'll just do zero on the, on the Z axis. So back in unity now, if I look at the box and I push up and down there we go whoops it's moving in the well it's moving what looks to me like the Z so I just need to move my camera but uh,
that looks a little better so now if I look at the box it's going up and down and it's so the I'll just modify these values a tiny bit to say multiply that by 0 0.1 because they're moving really fast and so now zero point one F those are float values so now the um, so there we go I got the input with the with the keyboard and I can also rotate it by by doing the fire one input so the question is you know this is all great but what about running this on my phone so I'm gonna go into build settings and switch the platform to Android um, it's gonna make you do a couple things in the player in the uh, player settings uh, you need to change your bundle identifier so I'm gonna put in your face games test CB control um, And then let's build and run. So I'm going to create a new folder called builds. And uh, test CB control IPK. We're going to build this. So um, on my phone, I have my. Uh, Uh, it's probably hard to see here, but my MOGA is is already connected. So you'll see on my MOGA controller, uh, I have it into B mode, and it's connected to my phone. And I've told Unity to just go ahead and build this to my uh, to the phone. So if everything's working, when I push my fire one button and move the uh, inputs here we're gonna see movement on the box so you can see my uh, my games loading up and that was that was the wrong app that was some that was some different VR anti lucid I must have bumped the button here we go we're loading up here so and I should have I should have told it to, uh, okay, this works. I think you can see if you look. Now, with my controller, I'm pushing the fire one, and if you look on my phone screen, that box is spinning. So now I'm going to push the, um, the, the, the stick, and if I push up, the box is going up. And if I push down, the box is coming down. And left and right is making the box move left and right. And fire one is spinning that box. So now I have a... Um, so at this point, if we need to turn this into a game, I would just make sure that uh, it already has a collider. So we're going to add a rigid body and give it a mass of 10. And I, then I'm going to duplicate the box with Control D. I'm going to make my cube that I'm controlling kinematic, so that or just so that it's not affected by gravity uh, or force forces because I'm moving it with it's transform and the rest of these four cubes let's just remove the t the uh, controller and so now I actually have some sort of a VR game where I have to uh, oh I I put the boxes on the wrong side so these four boxes need to need to go uh, in the other direction so let me just duplicate duplicate 
duplicate, duplicate, and one more. Here we go. Remove the script that lets me control them. Tell them to use some gravity and not be kinematic. All right, so now my VR game is called Knock the Boxes Over. And it's a smash hit. Here comes the smash hit right now. Smash hit. All right, that was bad. Okay, so we just made a game with... <laughs> um, for Google Cardboard that uses controller as input. It took us five lines of code and not very many minutes. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it helped, it helped you out. Um, if you want to control a character, uh, you just need to go to import, you know, like the uh, character controller from Unity and drop that prefab into the scene. And that already is set up to to take the horizontal and vertical input and move that character. So um, should have everything you need. If you have questions or comments, put them right down here. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to be posting some more videos for VR and Unity development. So stay tuned. Thanks again.